Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial you're going to learn how to precisely interact with character and props simultaneously. In this case I'm going to show you a man pushing a wheelchair for a woman and since the motion is from mocap the relation and position between them is not going to be accurate sometimes so we're going to use many features and tips for fixing this, such as the linkage, reach target, foot contact, and the edit motion layer. Now, if I play back the scene, you'll see here straight away that the wheelchair doesn't follow the character's motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of steps to actually achieve the results that we're looking for. And we're firstly gonna start by actually linking the character's right hand to the wheelchair. So it's very simple to do this. We're just gonna go into our modify tab and we're gonna pick parent and we'll choose the hand. And then now you can see the chair is linked to the hand, but there's a lot of issues going on, a lot of jittering. The wheelchair's not moving smoothly as it should. So a very, very simple way to fix this is we're just gonna go into our edit reach target. We'll select the right hand. And all we're gonna do is create a dummy for it. Now using this dummy, this is gonna actually, firstly, you're gonna see it's not gonna work correctly. So we just need to turn off the TX and the TY in the reach mode. And when we play that back now, just leaving the TZ selected, you're gonna see it gives us some incredible results and the chair does follow the character's walking path. So there's still a couple of issues to fix. We can see our woman character here is actually sliding off of the chair. So we're gonna use a couple of quick tips to fix that. We're gonna use the edit reach target just to actually constrain her to the chair by using the select target and keep the current pose and selecting the chair. And now you can see she's firmly attached to the bottom of that chair and she's not moving out of place. Again, we're gonna do the same for the legs because they are sliding a little bit. So we're gonna just select target, keep current pose and we'll select the bottom of that chair where the feet go. And you can see now that perfectly, literally keeps them in position. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna make his left hand really grip that wheelchair handle. And you can see here it's a bit slidey. So we're just gonna use select target, keep current pose and select it to the handle. And that will then firmly grip it. We can reposition it slightly and you can now see it is firmly gripped to that handle. So it looks really, really cool. And sometimes there is gonna be some overstretching issues. As you can see here, the shoulder looks a bit odd and you know, it's kind of overstretched. So we can just create a new animation layer and then we're simply gonna use the edit motion layer just to reposition the torso a little bit. And in doing so, it's gonna get rid of that kind of overstretching issue as you can see here. So it looks really cool and you can just fine tune it in different parts, but if I turn it on and off, you can see the effect it's actually having. And it really is that simple to do, just using the edit motion layer, just to reposition slightly and get them desired results. And now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna play around with the foot contact feature just to fix the relation between the character and the floor. We can also fine tune it using the edit motion layer if need be. But here you can see just using the foot contact, it does bring the feet nicely above the ground and looks perfectly like they're submerged onto the floor. So really, really simple and effective to do. And again, we can use the edit motion layer if we need to, just to kind of retweak it a little bit and reposition everything and get it looking exactly how you want. So, you know, really, really simple to do. You know, it's taken a couple of minutes and you know, we've got this looking, you know, really good and really of high quality and you know, perfect for your audience to, you know, go away and watch. Now we're gonna see here that we're gonna have a couple of issues in terms of the wheelchair actually rotating and following our male character's direction of motion. Uh, the reason being is because we've constrained the TZ and rotation by reach target, the wheelchair can't actually be turned. So what we can do is we can actually use our dummy to manually add a rotation point in our timeline. So very simple to do. Uh, we're gonna basically create some offset keys and then manually rotate the wheelchair ourselves. So to do that, all we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna just turn on our reach target in the edit motion layer. And um, we'll go into our animation layer on our timeline here. And you can see uh, what we'll do is we'll just manually set some offset keys by double clicking in the timeline. And you can see the two little points. Uh, the next point will set by actually adding the rotation, which will automatically set the key as you can see here. And then you can see it does start to rotate nicely. Now we're gonna again need to rotate here, but you're gonna see if we actually use our current dummy, 
under this constraint, it's going to cause some issues. As you can see here, she's doing some backflips in the wheelchair, which we're not going for. So what we're going to actually have to do is just create a new dummy and uh, a new constraint. And then we're going to actually manually rotate the new dummy that we've created. And this will give us the perfect results that we're looking for, as you're going to see. So we're just going to rotate that again. And you can see here, all I'm doing is rotating this, creating an offset key in the timeline. And then you can see it rotates nicely. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use Use the reach mode to turn off the TX and TY and that way it's going to perfectly follow the motion direction. So you know really really simple to do in a couple of steps we can then add a little bit of a blend here and just get that blended in nicely and you can see it works perfectly. Uh, the character turns with the wheelchair and you know just by creating the two different dummy points we can achieve that goal very simply and efficiently. So, you know, we'll just watch it back and you can see here, you know, it works incredible. We've come a long way in, you know, a matter of minutes and, you know, really that simple to do. And finally, we can fix the mesh penetration or fine tune the animation with the edit motion layer. In this case, we're going to actually just kind of tweak the positioning of the woman character's arms just so they kind of really fit nicely onto that wheelchair arm and just get her hands a bit more in her lap just so she looks a little bit more comfortable and the pose looks a little bit more natural. So we're just using the edit motion layer and the rotation gizmo and the position gizmo just to reposition that. We can then set the reach target and select it to the arm of the chair and that way it's gonna constrain it nicely and you're gonna get no movement. We can then release it at the points where the character actually has some motion going on as you can see there and that will then perfectly come in. And you know, really, again, really simple to do. We can then just reposition the hand to make it end up in this final position when it falls and when we play that back you'll see the arm raises and now falls naturally back in that position so you know really simple to do it's just kind of you know tweaking the reach targets and setting them how you want setting the releases where you need them and then just kind of fine-tuning everything and you know you'll see the overall look will turn out amazing and you'll get these incredible results and again all we want to do here is finally just set a release key for this left hand here and just get it waving around in the air as it naturally does. So we'll just set the release key and now you can see that hand releases and waves around in the air. Then if we watch that back, you can see you know, the incredible results we've been able to achieve in just a few minutes by using some little tips and tricks. And now you can see we've got an amazing animation with this character running and turning in the wheelchair. So I really hope that helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.